That is crazy, bro. What? React to Pat on deck. It's crazy. Fantasy. And it's sad because it may never happen again. I may never do an underground song war or song wars with rappers ever again, bro. Yo, this song changed this life. This song changed this life. I don't know how labels, managers don't see this shit and be like, yo, we got to keep doing these. All right, guys. It looks like Black Boy Max, the one and only streamer that kind of has been putting on for the underground heavy recently is very mad at underground rappers specifically laser dim and um you know some other ones that aren't really named but so you're probably wondering you know i just played those clips before wait why is he so mad what's what's the big deal like you know they did well you know what's it well what he's kind of throwing a fit about is they kind of used him they finessed him you know Laser Dim hopped on Black Boy Max's stream and he got this huge song and his whole career kind of just, I wouldn't say spawned, but he just blew up after that. And, you know, he even pointed out, I'll play the clips later, pointing out how many plays Jace's song had. And I'll, I'll show you some other examples. And he just said, hey, you know, I just put on for y'all. Like, you know, now y'all got the little, or he's really talking about Laser Dim. You got the little like stimulus. You ran off and I'm trying to do it with these other rappers, but people aren't trying to join. And, you know, we'll get into it. But yeah, he's pretty mad or he was pretty mad in that clip. So let's get into it. And of course, shout out Big Labs Johnson, who actually clipped this and inspired this video. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So he starts off by saying, or showing, how many plays these Song Wars songs got. It hits like, yo, this song has 600k off the Song Wars, bro. What? That sh makes no sense. And that might not be a lot, like, 1.56, what? That is crazy, bro. What? React to Pat on. And you know, it is kind of crazy. Like you know, from his stream, he, I mean, he pointed out a Jace song too that got 600k. And you know, Jace, you know, Jace is a pretty big underground rapper. He can get 600k, but for Jace, that's still you know an outlier, right? Like not all his songs get that, especially for the type of song. Was it anything crazy? And Laser Dim, you know, he hopped on that Asian rock beat. That song blew up, you know, he dropped on, he hopped on that Lucky Beat, it blew up and you know, everything he hopped on Black Boy Max's song or Song Wars just went crazy. So he's just saying, hey, you know, what I've been doing has been working, right? So far, so good. Okay, let's keep going. It's sad because it may never happen again. I may never do an underground song war or song wars with rappers ever again, bro. I'm not gonna lie, so. <laughs> it's sad as f Because don't be... Don't be with it, bro. I don't know how to even explain this to y'all, bro. Bro, you see how, bro, this, yo, this song changed this his life. This song changed this life. I don't know how labels, managers don't see this shit and be like, yo, we got to keep doing these. No, instead, it's like, eh, I don't know if I want to do this. So I guess people just are not trying to join his song wars anymore. So he basically is like, yo, these were so fire. Damn, we got these people so much traction. Why won't they hop on? He's like, you know, it's sad because it's never going to happen again. And then he says like, and then he also gets kind of mad or not mad. I would say just more like, come on, like, why don't, you know, labels and, and stuff like, why don't uh, like management? Why don't they understand that this really puts on their artists? It's such like a win win type of situation. You know, he probably gets some satisfaction from helping people out. It's entertaining for the viewers. It's putting on people, you know, from the underground and whatnot. And of course, their careers are blowing like laser dim blew off of this. You know what I mean? He literally, you know, that one Drewski meme where they're like, yo, we changed this broke out. I can't say the word, but he, we changed this broke dude's life. Like, that's literally what happened. Like, that's literally what happened. I'm going to put up the picture real quick. You know what I mean? Like, that's literally what what happened. He, he changed Laser's life, you know? But that's not it. He also gives some reasoning for what. Oh, because, you know, sorry, a little incoherent there. You know, some of y'all might say, you know, why not just put like real, real people, like people that nobody knows about? You know, he kind of gives a little response to that too. Bro, I don't want to do these song wars if I have to go get random schmansome, um, uh, Lil J7700. Who is Lil J7700? Come on, bro. I want to get names y'all care about. I care about niggas. We like their music, bro. Niggas don't be down to do shit. And I'm not finna go get some, you feel me? Real shit. That don't make no fucking sense. And I love doing these. I swear to God, I do it every week. But be on bullshit, bro. Y'all know I obviously do it. It's no bunny cheeky trying to f darn. <laughs> but yeah, bro, it's like, bro, I'm not finna go get. Don't care about. It. I don't make no sense. But I love doing these. I do, and I know y'all love them, bro. 
So I'm trying to make it happen. I'm going to do what I can, but it, it's not that easy, bro. It's not that easy. I'm not going to lie. All right. So basically he says, yo, I, I want, I love to do these, but I can't have Garbanzo Beans 1900 or Briar XO on here. Like we need actual names. You know what he's saying? It's like, I want actual, you know, SoundCloud, like not like underground rappers that y'all want, that I want. I'm not trying to do some talent show among random. I'm not trying to do a talent show with a bunch of kids who downloaded band lab two weeks ago. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, he has a valid point there. Like then I would just be wasting his time. It wouldn't be as entertaining. It would be more on like some, you know, you could do that once. This wouldn't be as cool. And he's saying he's trying to put these together, but people are just turning them down. So of course, you know, why are they turning these down? Number one, people in the underground love to be mysterious, but I don't know what it is. Like, even though we're seeing like this whole anti-mysterious and authenticity wave, like laser dim and Ian, and you know, you can even see some of the rappers from like the whole 2021 stuff who are doing better. Like Tana Tana isn't really mysterious. You know, he's pretty outgoing and whatnot. You know, a lot of these, a lot of these underground rappers, they, they just like to be on their mysterious stuff. But you know, uh, I think for example, until Japan, big labs talked about him and he was like, yeah, he definitely turned it down. He was scared to do his first music video. And I would say a lot of these rappers, they might not even be like on some ego stuff. Cause I'll get to that later. It might just be that they're insecure and they don't want to hop on. But I feel like, you know, before I talk about all that, gotta gotta analyze what the song wars even did. If you look at Laser Dim, right? He was he was like he's getting you know, he was getting some traction, he was getting some hype, people were liking it, but he wasn't there yet, you know, when you're like there and it's like, oh, okay, you're good, you're there, you're like, it's like, ah, oh, he's good. He wasn't good like that yet. He did the whole Black Boy Max song wars. I believe he did it twice. I believe he won one of them too, and I think he, I believe he even won 5K or something. I don't know how much money it was, but um. Yeah, he won it, and then um, he just went, like, I don't know, it just went ballistic. Like, all those songs went so crazy. I remember when Laserdim hopped on them, everyone was like, oh my god, this is so hard, you know? And the songs, when he posted them, also did really well. Also, another person that a lot of people aren't talking about is Young Fazo. Young Fazo did the song wars, and everyone just switched the narrative on him. So he hopped on a jerk beat, and um, the song was really good. I really liked the song. It was a hard song. It was probably one of his best songs I've heard from him for a while, and... Uh, I think he even has some more jerk-ish type of stuff, but you know, that's definitely a great direction for him. And uh, you know, that was like the most positive reception Young Fazo's ever gotten, like I've ever seen in my life. Like people have been hating Young Fazo since he like came out almost, I feel like ever since he got like a little bit of buzz, you know? So that was cool to see, but that wouldn't have happened without the song wars, you know what I mean? So if it weren't for Black Boy Max, you know, that would have never happened. And you know, I guess he's trying to be like, yo, come on, like, do you guys not see that? This is so obvious. And everyone else is like, well, you know, uh, 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 uh. you know, um, so he literally has the power to like make careers change narratives. Cause like the underground or like this side of the underground, cause I wouldn't really call this like underground, underground, it's more like this, like, I don't know. It's like this uh, little like hive mind kind of, it's such a hive mind that like if a couple people start saying something and then, you know, it just becomes like the whole narrative. So everyone was just the whole young Fazo being trash was just like a, it was just kind of like a narrative or not like, even like a narrative. It was just what people were saying. So everyone was saying people don't really think for themselves like that. So when Black Boy Max put them on, it was like, oh, this is pretty good. Everyone's like, well, uh, actually it's pretty good, man. Oh, Max says it's good. It's good. And you know, that shows he has a lot of power and he actually, it's just not power. It shows that he really has a platform and he's able, really able to push artists. You look at Laser Dim, he had some traction. And the same way, you know, I don't think anyone was saying it was trash or anything, but Black Boy Max's song wars and him doing that kind of solidified like, oh, okay, he's, he's really got it. I'm not trying to discount any of Laser Dim's hard work or anything. You even look at Black Boy Max, what he did for Jace, and you know, even that Jace song got hella play. So even established artists have a lot to gain from it, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, the other thing I'm kind of confused about is like, if you're like a washed rapper, right? right? Like, going on Black Boy Max's song wars is like a stimulus. Like, I remember there were hella like washed rapper no offense i don't it's not like i dislike or hate any of these rappers like chulo do you even remember like some of y'all might not even know who that is if you like uh, you know uh who else was there i think young chris like, he's not like washed wash he just like fell off um there were a couple more like you know imagine there was like some throwing like a cash dummy or something you know we could you know people would be interested to see that like yo what's this guy been up to type you know like if cash dummy went on black boy max's song wars and dropped something hard you don't think and he said and everyone kind of agreed on that stream that yo that was pretty good like you don't think people would just switch up like that or be like oh it's kind of hard it's you, you could really do that so 
I think that's interesting. The other reason why are these rappers hopping on? Number one, it's it's got to be like mostly ego. Of course, some of these artists would just never do it. Like Can Can would never come on there. Like Summers would never come on there. They're too big. But like a lot of these people definitely just feel like they're. You know, I'm not gonna say. I don't really know. Like I don't know. Like how would I know who who's turning them down? But it's definitely like some of the bigger ones because you know it's like if it's like you're trying to go out or like do something with your friends. It's like if some dude doesn't go or like you know he goes, I'll go type of thing. It's just you know they're trying to look for certain people. I'm not. I'm. I'm really not about to do the whole thing where we guess who's not going on Black Boy Max's song wars. But you know, you can kind of get the idea of what's going on. And he seemed pretty mad too. So yeah, yeah. I think it was actually pretty. I guess it was good while it lasted. You know, um, rest in peace, Black Boy Max song wars. Really, I think maybe he was just like annoyed at the whole Laser Dim thing. I believe Laser Dim scammed someone else on Discord for like an e date. Like he scammed them for like a couple thousand dollars. I don't know. You can look it up. I'm not going through all of that that's like way too much work but it's not even that crazy you just need to know he like jokes some dude for like 2k and then went on discord and was like i'm not arguing i don't know he said something like that but i mean like i think platform max really did a lot for laser name he did like the e-date stuff and he did some other things so i think he was just mad like yo like you, you're not even gonna like you're just gonna take the the cloud and just dip so yeah it is what it is but i mean at the end of the day it's not that serious they're just like soundcloud underground rap wars but i feel like it's just a shame because you know those are like cool you know you could like watch them and they're almost like it's almost like watching tv almost it was like a, it was like a game show almost. it would be cool like imagine they did like trios or duos and because tri- it would be like a versus and they'd have different teams like the way it was set up was really cool too but anyways i'm starting to yap a little too much and uh, i don't think you guys like but um okay thanks for watching have a nice day let me know if you agree with max you disagree if you're like eh or you're like oh get a life dude what are you doing man making you know what i'm saying but um it is what it is thanks for watching bye have a nice day see you tomorrow bye